We've got more Northwest Arkansas headlines coming your way in the next half hour, including water is back on at Willow Heights, but the problems are not over. Plus, emergency personnel in Benton County working to keep your family safe this summer while in the water. And the Big Trail Nation goes one on one with Razorback linebacker Dre Greenlaw. The stories and more next. Thank you for referring your family, friends, and neighbors for all these years. You know we're going to be on your side, by your side. If you or a loved one needs help, call me today at 1 800 CAR REC. In 2008, we lost a team member to an F3 tornado that went through Pitcher, Oklahoma. When we were first approached by Dan Scoff to become partners with the Weather Call System, it was a natural decision to say yes. When weather becomes a threat, make sure you're prepared with Weather Call. Live your dreams in your own backyard with seaside pools and spas. Whether it's commercial or residential, new or existing, we have everything to meet your pool needs. We offer free backyard estimates, a full service department, scheduled maintenance, and spring pool openings. Summer will be here before you know it, so visit us today. Seaside Pools and Spas, a family-owned business with locations in Springdale and Bentonville. Come see why we've been the best in the business for over 50 years. When you join FAC in the month of July, you'll receive a $100 gift certificate for in-club services. here at Sam's Furniture, and I'm always telling you what a great place this is, but today I'm going to let our customers tell you what they think. Hey, excuse me, what do you like most about Sam's Furniture? Well, I love the selection. Y'all really have something for everyone. We love your prices. You guys don't play games. You sell it cheap. I love their customer service. Sam's truly cares, and I feel it. Hey, sir, what do you love most about Sam's Furniture? This place is fun. Well, this place is fun. Get it at Sam's. Our military heroes' courage and bravery give greater meaning to what it is to be an American. Grand Canyon University honors our heroes and pays tribute to your heroism. Thank you for your service. Due to the large number of trucks on our roads, Arkansas has one of the highest rates of truck accidents. Drive defensively. Look out for truckers. Call 1-800-CAR-REC. On your side, by your side. Couldn't have said it better myself. covering the Northwest Arkansas community. This is KNWA Today. Good morning and welcome to KNWA Today. I'm Caitlin Fulmer. And I'm Chris Fry, along with meteorologist Rick Catsby. Thank you yeah. so much for joining us on this Wednesday. We've been talking about the heat, but we've been talking about the rain as yes. well and the consistent rain. Yeah, yes. we've seen it almost every day this week That's so right. far. Three days in a row. This is the third day we're seeing mm -hmm. some good rains over a large area this morning. So excited about more rain coming for your yard, your garden, and uh, some of the farms out there mm -hmm. for today. And so I'll we'll show you radar coming up. I want to show you yesterday's storm. Wow. Yesterday, we knew that there was a chance for some stronger storms. And when we saw this coming in, I saw this coming into Fayetteville. And so I tweeted this out yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon. It just was different looking. You could tell there was some uh, kind of a light blue green back in the distance. Uh, we have this uh, shelf cloud moving in. But under this shelf cloud, we also had these little uh, low level, what we call scud clouds, where it lifts the moisture up. And so I alerted uh, this to the folks in the neighborhood. And I go, oh, here comes some wind. It looks like there's some, certainly some turbulence coming compared to what we had the day before when we had the heavy downloads of rain. Rain. This one had a punch that um, the wind lasted for. Uh, I mean, we had gusty winds for about three or four minutes or so uh, with that system coming in. So that one looked special and it, it did cause the damage in uh, western parts of Arkansas. And this morning we've got more rain. And matter of fact, it's increasing in intensity. There's a, a pretty good uh, heavy downpour now uh, east of Sodom Springs. And so this is uh, spreading out. It's moving toward the southeast. So it's moving right toward uh, Farmington, Prairie Grove, uh, Fayetteville, and Johnson right now getting some heavy downpours this morning. Now, there's nothing severe weather. There's nothing severe out here this morning. These are scattered heavy downpours that have a lot of moisture with them. There's, the humidity is very high. And so there's a lot of moisture to tap into. So you could get a quick uh, one inch rain out of this uh, band moving through this morning. Uh, so from Johnson, Fayetteville, back to Prairie Grove and Farmington, uh, good rain's coming again for you. 
your area this morning. Again, there's nothing severe out there for today. These storms will move off toward the east of our area for later on this morning, leaving us with more hot and humid weather. 91 to 99 your high temperature for today. Nice to have the rain out there again for this morning. But we got to watch out for some ponding on roadways, especially you know at 5:30 where it's uh, still mm -hmm. night, uh, hard to see some of the water on the road. And then today for rush hour, looks like a pretty wet start to this morning, guys. All right, Rick, we appreciate it. Yeah. 34 past the hour in a KNWA news update. Water service is back on at the Willow Heights Apartments in Fayetteville, along with the teeny tiny daycare center. But the problem isn't over yet. Officials say there were two different holes in the pipe that caused the leak. A boil order is in effect until further notice. Organizations like the Salvation Army have been helping residents during this time by providing food, water, and shelter for those who have been displaced. Still no word on the cause of that broken pipe. The Fayetteville Public Library expansion project officially started demolition of the former city hospital on Tuesday. The area will be transformed into a 70,000 square foot new space. It will include an innovation center with a recording studio, virtual reality room, photography studio, and simulation lab. Outdoor spaces like a courtyard is also planned for this site. Construction on the project is expected to be completed completed by mid-2020. Well, it was a long road to finally get construction going on this project. Since 2012, Washington Regional Medical Center had been tied up in litigation after it agreed to sell the property to the library. Voters approved a millage increase to expand the library in August of 2016. A year later, the library officially became the owner of the land that was tied up in red tape for years. The property was donated to Fayetteville more than 110 years ago. The Washington Regional Medical Center sold the property to the library, but descendants of the original owners took the center to court. The Arkansas Supreme Court ruled in favor of the hospital, and the sale to the library is finally finished. The city of Bentonville is improving the beauty and safety of its bike trails. Crews repainted some of the tunnels on the bike trails to make them easier for bikers to see where they're at at night. Parks foreman Chris Kester says the paint paired with lights installed in the tunnels last year will allow them to be used more. I think they'll all be thrilled that it'll light it up and be able to use them more frequently at night. We're just trying to make them a little bit safer, a little bit brighter so people can see through them at night. Crews will put a clear coat of special paint on top of the new paint job. The coat will make it easier to clean graffiti off the walls. It is 536 now in Springdale. Girl Scouts USA has rolled out new material to further empower young girls. 30 new badges look to expose the girls to fields generally dominated by men. The group hopes to address what they call pressing social issues. Those include cybersecurity, mechanical engineering, and space science. Now, all the new badges align with STEAM or science, technology, engineering, art, and math. The new material is really helping girls to learn the skills um, to make a real impact in their communities or nationally or even globally. Girl Scouts leaders say more new material has been released in the past three years than in the past ten, with most of it being STEAM-based. The new principal at Rogers Heritage High School met with parents to talk about the upcoming year. Principal Jim Davis says his top priority is for all students to score at least 80% proficiency on all assessments. Davis says he's working to change the culture of the high school by cracking down on school attendance and giving back to students on how they're doing academically. Looking ahead, Walmart is offering back to school shots. Families can also get free overall health screenings and even vision tests in some locations. This is all part of Walmart's annual Wellness Day, which is taking place this coming Saturday at locations throughout our area. The Rogers Fire Department has been working since January to fill what they say is a need in the community. KNWA Today is in Kirika Azuka joining us live in Rogers, where training for a new response team is happening this week in Kirika. Good morning, Chris and Caitlin. So the Rogers Fire Department, as well as the Benton County Sheriff's Office, are collaborating to make a new dive rescue team. Benton County has not had a dive rescue team since late 2017, after two members were arrested after using uh, equipment for personal use. Now, lakes, ponds, and rivers are all different types of bodies of water that bring different obstacles as far as rescue. And the department says that the pool is only the first step. 
Um, in training, uh, in many ways, to get proficient in skills, we want to make sure the guys have good visibility. Once they master those skills, then we move to limited and reduced visibility environments to continue those skills and, and add that component in as well. The fire department says that the, the team should be ready by the end of the summer in Rogers and Kirikazuka. KNWA Today, Northwest Arkansas News. Okay, in Kirikazuka, thanks. We just saw a